Welcome back, my friends, to another life-changing video on my channel, Cindy Winters TV, where I, Cindy Winters, bring you performance tips, self-care hacks, and all over feel-good moments, all things Broadway and beyond. In today's video, I'm so excited to share with you that I'm gonna continue being excited to share with you because that's my business. Broadway is back! <laughs> Cue the music! So as we get ourselves ready, Broadway conditioned to sit back in our chairs, wear our mask, watch a two and a half hour show, we need to make sure that we have a list of things to do when Broadway is back. Number one, listen, Broadway's back, but we still need to find cheap tickets. So here's a list of websites so you can find cheap tickets. Do a little freeze frame action for you. Listen, Broadway is back and that's really great, but guess what's also back? Off-Broadway, an off-off-Broadway, regional theaters and concert venues. Theater around the country and around the world still need your support. Here's an obvious tip for you if you're gonna go see a Broadway show. Listen to the soundtrack before going to the show. For instance, if I'm gonna go and see Dear Evan Hansen, let me check out the music so I'm like in the vibe. Or if you wanna be surprised, don't check out the music. Go to the show, be engaged, love it, enjoy it, laugh, cry, it won't really matter, you're wearing a mask and it's gonna be great. Next tip, listen to the soundtrack after the show. As Soon as you walk out those doors, yes, feeling jazz, feeling good, put on your Spotify, put on your title, put on your Apple Music, in the car, on your headphones, on the train, wherever, and play that original soundtrack from that Broadway show you were just blown away by, okay? Big tip, come here, very close, too close, six feet. Plan your pre-show meal and your post-show meal, okay? Because, listen, Broadway's gonna be back and all of the restaurants will be open and they will be crowded, filled with people. So make sure you have your reservations for your favorite place. Most famous places hopefully are still open. Big tip, when you arrive at the theater, make sure that you get your selfie with the marquee in the background. That is a quintessential Broadway move. If you don't post a video of you with the marquee, it didn't happen. Okay, make sure you tag that show and make sure you share with your friends how great of a time you had by watching that show. But first, take that picture, that selfie. Can we insert there the picture of me and you in front of the Hamilton? 100%. <laughs> Look, there's Amy in New York. She came to Hamilton and she knew what to do. Here's the next thing. So you get into the theater, you sit in your seat, you get your playbill, great. You get your beverage. When you sit down, the show begins, you watch the show. The show has an intermission, bam, the actors go be on Twitter and on Instagram. I'm sure it happens. <laughs> what do you think they do, take a nap? Socialize, go over the lines? No, they are hanging out. Anyway, during your time at intermission, that is the perfect opportunity for you to go through the playbill and check out the actors, check out the performers, check out the wardrobe designer, check out the set designer, check out all, all the people who made this show that you are enjoying possible. They have their Instagram handles, they have all the ways that you can probably get in contact with them, and if you like them, follow them. This is the biggest thing that makes Broadway Broadway and you need to pay attention to this because if you don't do this, you will be regretting this for the rest of your days. After intermission, you've checked out all the actors on the playbill and you love them and you follow them on Instagram now and the show's finished, woohoo, you stand up, standing ovation, applause, 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 you exit the theater, what do you do next? You go to the stage door. That is a great opportunity for you to meet any of the actors that just wowed your spirit. The greatest thing about Broadway and what makes it so special is that you actually get the opportunity to meet the people who tell those stories. It is one of the greatest things that I loved doing as a Broadway audience member and as an actor and performer, my favorite thing is to meet the audience. So please be there for us to see you. We're getting close to the end, so I just wanna share this with you. 
You've seen the show, you got your meal, looked at your playbill, went to the stage door, took a picture in front of the marquee. Now you post and share with your friends on your social media about how much you love the show, what you thought about the show. Sometimes you might not have loved it. Sometimes you might wanna share your thoughts. That's okay. Do it, talk about it, because Broadway needs your voices to remind folks that we're still here, okay? That we are still jamming. And last but not least, if after you've done all those things, go ahead and see the show again if you need to. Tell a friend, bring a friend, bring your mama, bring your grandmama, bring your daddy, bring your cousins. We need your support because Broadway cannot function without an audience. Theater cannot function without an audience. We are so excited for these live venues to be reopening and we love to see you at the theater. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video and you wanna see more, go and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Your viewer hours really help me monetize. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> Until then, stay well, stay woke, stay safe.